Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I see the D4L change, man. I remember back when I didn't even know who Shorty Low was. I really, I just seen them niggas just doing the dance, and you know, I ain't, I ain't seen Shorty Low in none of that. I'm being real. I, he mm -hmm. was on the backside when that was going on, right? And I was like, dang, man. He was in jail then. Well, was he in jail? Prison then. Yeah. He was in prison then, mm -hmm. but he still he started it. Right. That's crazy. How did that? Okay, how did that start out? Uh, and, and and I don't know the history of it, but how did that? From your perspective, how did it, you say he was in jail then, how did they even get that off the ground and then how did he orchestrate that while he was locked up? Well, basically, my dad was my dad was already a millionaire before he even started rapping or doing anything, just out street money. You know, my, my dad said that that um he seen his first million by the time I think he was 17, yeah, 18. So, you know, uh, so he was already kingpin already. So, you know, he was just looking for ways to in best his money, you know, to help his people. And that's when he started um, the um, studio, um, the D4L studio. And, you know, he was investing his money into his group, you know, um, Stuntman, Fabo, um, Front Street, you know, all of those people that y'all seen. And um, so basically they was already working and stuff, but, you know, he had got locked up. up. Yeah. Right. So, so then when that happened, you know, that the, they were just still doing they they thing or whatever. So, you know, they made um Laffy Taffy and they had played it for him like over the phone. And 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 then, you know, dad was like, No, nah, I don't like that. I don't know about that one. But you know, they end up being one of the biggest songs, <laughs> if not the biggest song. It was big, man. It changed culture in a lot of in a mm -hmm. lot of ways, bro. Mm -hmm. So, um, how old were you then? Um You was young. Yeah, um, I was still staying on the west side when that song came out. So I was probably around like 10 or 11. 11, yeah. Yeah, so because that was around like the 2003, 2004 era, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So, okay, so you you now, I'm, I'm fast forwarding a little bit, but, um, well, during that era, when he first came out and then they, that got to going, he started doing his own solo deal. And when he started doing his solo deal, him and T.I. ended up uh, having uh, 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 issues about was he from Born Home. Did you even understand what was going on in that whole thing? I mean, from my understanding, from what I know, um, basically, Dad asked T.I. to get on one of his songs, whatever, on the door. Yeah, 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 he said it. that, yeah. So, you know... Dad, you know, T.I. was always claiming Bankhead, but, you know, nobody never said nothing, or my dad, them ain't never say nothing, because they felt like, you know, it felt good for somebody to be claiming they side of town. So, you claiming Bankhead, and you doing all this and all that, but then, you know, when when the man of Bankhead asked you for something, you know, you're supposed to, you know, move on that, but he didn't. So, he was just like, you know, this and that, like now nah, he don't want to do it, whatever it can be. So, so they were like, damn. So how, how the hell are you going you know, just claim bankhead and you know, and shit. I'm, and first off, we ain't never heard of you or seen you. Yeah, nowhere. Yeah. So, but then you gonna do that? That's yeah. crazy. So that was just like, bro, you really ain't from here. We were just letting you claim it. But Ti was using. My, my dad cars and stuff in his video. Correct, I heard stuff. him say that. I heard the story, but it's just crazy because I just, you was, at that time, you would have been about 13. Mm -hmm. You about 13 then, because this, this, this is when it's boiling down. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.